Contender Regime Boxing checking back in with y'all, man. Say, Earl Spence Jr. Earl Spence Jr. says, I'm focused on undisputed. I'm not even thinking about moving up until I get all the belts at 147 pounds. And then when I move up to 154, I'm focused on becoming undisputed at 154, man. It's good to hear that. It's good to hear that. I mean, it, it kind of echoes what I had already said that, um, you know, it don't make no sense for him to be thinking about going up to fight Canelo or, uh, you know, just moving around up and down weight. And, you know, it, his mind is where it needs to be. And that also lets me know that Earl Spence, uh, he still has the confidence that he can make 147 comfortably at least long enough to be able to obtain all four belts. Um, of course, he got a unification fight coming up with Sean Porter. That's one belt. Hopefully, we can get Terrence Crawford. Now, he did mention um, in because, you know, on Fight Hype, they broke down the interview in like three or four different parts. But in one of the interviews, um, I believe it was when they asked him about what uh, what Roy Jones has said about a potential fight with him and uh, with um, Earl Spence and Sean Porter. Um, he mentioned that after he beat Sean Porter, gets that belt. He said that after I beat the winner out of, or he said, I don't think he said the winner out of Manny Pacquiao and Keith Thurman. I think he said after he beat Manny Pacquiao and Keith Thurman, then he going to watch Terrence Crawford as well and take his belt. But like I said, I still think that he going to get Terrence Crawford before the Keith Thurman and, and, you know, Pacquiao winner. You know what I'm saying? I just think that now, unless Manny Pacquiao wins, I think Pacquiao will fight Earl before Keith Thurman will, you know. So if Pacquiao win, then I think we can get that fight a lot sooner. But if Thurman wins, I think he going to try to hold that shit off, you know what I'm saying, which would lead to Earl Spence trying to make that fight with Crawford. But the good news here is that, you know, like I said, Earl Spence is focused on undisputed, bro. And that's what we need in boxing. I think the 147 pound division is the very best division in boxing. It's the most talented. It's the most stacked. You know what I'm saying? The most action going on at 147, man. So, you know, I'm I'm more excited to see who's the best out of this division more than any other division in boxing. So, I mean, I just want to, uh, if y'all didn't watch that interview on Fight Hype, man, I just want to go ahead and put that out there just to let y'all know, look, man, EJ focused on undisputed, bro. He ain't thinking about moving up, moving down, none of that. He want to get all the belts at 47. And then, like I said, he going to move up to 54 and do the same thing. Earl Spence is not no 160-pound fighter. He going to be, he going to fight 47 and he going to fight 54. Watch what I tell you. He going to retire at 54. Now, maybe later on when he like, if he's still fighting at age 36, 37, something like that, Maybe then he'll fight at 160. But Earl Spence is a 147-pound, 154-pound fighter, man. Contender Regime Boxing, I holler at y'all boys, man.